M0FXV just tinkering here with my UVK6. I'm going to turn it off and turn on, turn it off, press the PTT, turn on and get us into firmware mode. And just tinkering with the FH, F4HWN firmware and I'll give you a direct link to it. The latest one is 4.2. So we're connected to the PC. If we go right click device manager, like so, com, and there's com8, okay? And if I go just flash, choose com8, connect, it's flashing. So fingers crossed we're going to have Armel's latest software. Now he has introduced uh, a feature here, I'm not sure when, but it seems recent called the viewer and he's made a video here i'm not going to play it because i don't want to copyright but he's made a video here of you can view your quashang screen it's not a remote control it's a viewer and there's the instructions there on how to do this it seems like you have to go in and connect to your device and then run some commands connect your quashang running f for hwm thank you armel to your computer using a both on kenwood star run the k5 viewer with the appropriate serial port okay and it's saying here k5 viewer py port and so on and you know i i, haven't, I don't know how to do it at the moment um so this has come on oh look it's actually <laughs> the screen on this if i just unplug yeah it's working but it's completely reversed okay so i'm not sure if you can see that but it's working fine. It's just that it's it's reversed, and that, I mean you you're not going to see it basically because and uh, if I go menu and then you've got the step user power on and so on. So if we leave it connected to the computer, grab my cable just to obviously UV five R cable. Move this right down, and I'll take you over now. If you run the correct Python script and so if someone's done it done it I know our mail's done it of course let me know but I'm just going to reconnect it and I'm going to spend a bit of time looking at the latest features that our mail has added on here um, yeah it looks like uh, just press around pressing buttons anyway go over here to the right and then look here this is the viewer so after you've done the command you would go connect and go down paired connect and oh well that's interesting I am showing something well that's a surprise that's a complete surprise because I was expecting I mean you do need the cable connected um to um well I was expecting that I had to run all these Python things. Maybe you have to run them if you want to make changes. So let's just do it. We're recording now. Menu. I like that. Now the downside is, I don't think we can hear anything. <laughs> um, Because we're connected to the pins. But I, I suppose if you had one of those, there was an adapter made where you could. Because uh, let me take unplug it and see what happens. Yeah, you can hear it then. But I know that there is a way to hear it. I know that there's an adapter because we made one once for, for different software. But look, as soon as I plugged it in, um, it started working. All I did was I'll put the link in to go to this RML GitHub viewer. If I disconnect, um, connect. All I did was connect. So that's brilliant, RML. It's because I can't understand French. and. I do read the subtitles, but <laughs> it gets a bit boring. Um, so let's try and then go. Let's just let's go to the help thing here. OK, you see that help. You've got some instructions here. Oh, you can change color. 
uh, screen color, switch to gray, G, O, B, and W. Display controls, take a screenshot and download it. All right, so let me do that then. So we've got some commands. Is you can take screenshots, toggle LCD display. So if I press P, is that right? Let me take a photograph and then I'll do it. Please bear with, because I didn't even know this would work. Um, okay, so I'm going to go camera. Take a photograph of the commands because they're, they're in the way of the of me seeing the radio. And I'm using a UVK6, as you know, you can buy for about five pounds. So in my photograph, space takes a screenshot. Okay, there's a screenshot. Like so. This is fun. P, it reverses it. So P, okay. And uh, on the radio, well, it looks the same. And okay. And I, invert background. Now that's what I want to change. See now, no, my radio still says black and white. But oh well, I just wonder why my, why my radio doesn't go white. Screen color G. Oh, we are gray. O is orange. Look at that. Um, B, blue, M. Oh, this is brilliant. M, switch to white. That didn't do it. Uh, let's do B. M. I'm not really sure why B doesn't want to do it. G. That's working. M. Yeah, for some reason M. Is that an M or an N? Oh, it's W. Sorry. What W is white? Of course it is. And Q. Disconnect from the K5. So Q is disconnect. Rebound slope. Wow. <laughs> I, I like it. I'd like to be able to hear the radio. I completely understand why we can't. You know, with the K, I was thinking with the K, um, the K1, you can program it using the USB C. So I bet you with the K1, when this is done, that'll be fine. The other thing that Armel's done here is he's actually got a K1 programmer here. And it actually says UVK5 version 3 and UVK1 web tool. Um, so I'm gonna, I will learn a bit more about that. But this video um, is a massive thank you to Armel. Uh, of course, check out his GitHub, and uh, I'll put the links in so you can go straight to the viewer and download. I'll find it in a sec. Download and let you got a few more here, and download the um, the actual firmware that I just put into my radio. And when you click that download, it takes you straight to the browser loader. So I'm going to show you how to load it. Of course, cable, radio, right click device manager, select device manager, get your port number, COM8, both on cable. Then over here and go straight to the link that I've put in and I'll call it firmware link. It says latest. Click that. And the one that I selected when I went down, where is it? Let me find it. Okay, scrap what I just said because this is easier. Go to this link. I'll put it in the description. It's ends custom releases. Okay. So with this link, you can now I clicked the uh the top one and it's clicked it. And look, it went straight to this flasher. Then I clicked browse um, and then found the, the com number. Now I'm making, I will make another video on this. So I, I'm sort of learning how to do it. Flash, click flash. Now go to serial com, connect. And then you have to be in firmware mode to turn the radio off. Press the PTT, turn on. White light on top. So now let's do it. And you know if you got it right, because it starts flashing. 
and please remember you do this at your risk because there's quite a few different models of the k5 and some are older newer and you know so i i did it it worked for me bye for now